For a few dollars more, came out in 1965. It stars Clint Eastwood, Lee Van Cleef, Klaus Kinski and Gian Volante. This is a much more brutal and epic movie than the first one in every way. The main villain is played by the same actor who played the villain in the first one, Gian Volante. For starters, the villain here, El Indio, is probably one of the most brutal and cunning, conniving villains I've ever come across in my film Going Life. The guy is one of the most wanted bandits in the West and some of the acts that he inflicts upon people in this film are just unspeakable. Lee Van Cleef plays one of the bounty hunters who is after Indio. At first you think that Douglas Mortimer is after him just for the money, but we soon learn that he is after Indio for a much more personal reason. At the start of this film, Indio is busted out of prison by his gang of about 14 men. From there on, Indio becomes a wanted man. We meet a bounty hunter named Manco, played by Clint Eastwood, who finds out about Indio's escape and then sets about to claim the large reward that's been put onto his head. We also meet Douglas Mortimer, played by Van Cleef, another bounty hunter who is after the same person. Eventually, these two guys meet and they have a bit of a shoot-off between each other. They then decide to team up and go after Indio and his crew together. There are some really great scenes in this film. The tension between Van Cleef and Eastwood's character is really amazing. This is one. Of, this is actually my favourite film in the, in the Dollars trilogy. I really liked Van Cleef's character. I thought his whole arc was something really well thought of and there's a good little twist in the end. As much as I love Eastwood, he does kind of take a backseat role in this, in this movie. It's really more Douglas Mortimer's movie and the twist we get at the end is something that caught me off guard first time I saw it. I love seeing Gian Volante back as the main villain. He doesn't play the same character that he played in the last film, but an entirely different one altogether. And if you thought he was bad in the first film, he's just Satan in this film. He is the devil incarnate. He is a ruthless psychopathic killer who will stop at nothing to get what he wants. All the stakes are upped in this movie. The ultimate goal, or what you think is the ultimate goal of both the main characters, is considerably larger than what we got in the last film. I think Sergio Leone's directing style really came forward a lot more in this entry. We get a lot of extreme close-ups that really heighten the tension. This may be something really insignificant, but I love seeing Klaus Kinski in this film. Kinski is the actor who played Count Dracula in the remake of Nosferatu, which came out in 1979. And the guy is just basically this crazy German... He was this crazy German actor who caused so much trouble on sets and uh, yeah he's kind of a legend in the in the film going industry if you like but uh anyway i absolutely love this film in every way it's one of my favorite westerns and it continues to be an inspiration to me even today i'm giving this film 9 out of 10 thanks so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more thanks for watching bye